This is Scott Shellhays. Uh, I had the pleasure of being a part of the team that went to Ecuador to work with Justin and John O'Rieger at Camp Bellevue. We started with framing the new play structure. We had another team that worked on scraping and beginning to paint the school building and another team that worked on the science lab and the library and getting uh, those particular rooms painted and set up. One of the things that was the hardest to work around was the inquisitiveness of the kids that were at the school. were very curious about what we were doing and especially why we were doing this. One of the things we learned early on Language was not a barrier for us. Uh, we were able to kind of pick and choose some words and by pointing, uh, they were able to understand what we were doing. They were very, very grateful. And so throughout the whole week, they were very excited to watch the progress of how the play structure went together, but also the painting of the buildings, the outside, completely repainting the restrooms, and then the work that was done in the science lab with the large wall mural that was added, as well as the day that our team got to present scientific experiments from America. I think throughout the week that we were at the school, most of the team was affected by uh, just the loving acceptance that the children had for us uh, and and you know why we were here and, and why we were doing this for them and i truly believe that uh, the love of god was was expressed and was accepted by the children i noticed uh, that uh, john horn and keith robertson were just like fathers to many of these children and uh, those kids just loved on them like nothing else and the same for the kids I mean our kids were one hard workers very diligent but at the same time uh, would, would take that time to show love and acceptance to the kids that are there and many uh, of our opportunities at night during our nightly devotionals uh, it, we, we talked about how we were all affected by the day's work, about what we encountered, what we were confronted with, uh, challenges, but also the blessings that we had on a day-to-day -day basis. In the afternoons when we finished working at the school, we went back to Camp Bellevue and we set up to help Jonna and Justin with their after-school program uh, that about 90 plus kids come and attend starting at about two o'clock in the afternoon. We had uh, three different opportunities to interact with the kids, but we started off with a group singing uh, Christian songs and praises to, to God. And then we broke up into groups. We had one group that introduced the kids to American sports of base, playing baseball, football, dodgeball, and of course, Gaga Court was constructed. So that was a blast for those kids to play that. Another group that Emily Sims just did an outstanding job with was working with the kids in, in a kind of an arts and crafts setting. And another group went with Keith and Keith took the kids on kind of creation walks where he talked to the children about God the creator and what's surrounding us. And so those were great opportunities to even reach these kids on a deeper spiritual level but also on a level of having fun. I would like to thank Broadway and especially the vision that the missions ministry has in allowing the youth and, and us adults to have the opportunity to go down and have hands-on working relationship with, with the mission family that Broadway supports. Uh, the Riegers are in a, a, a very hardened area. And it was a wonderful opportunity for the whole team to experience that and, and to, to know that there are no boundaries when it comes to sharing the love of God and to being the eyes and hands and feet of Jesus and showing that particular community of Tabacundo that we can all walk in the light.